one can smell fisherman's toast. Mmm, the aroma is coming from Good Hunter. A thick slice of soft white toast. Topped with a generous serving of onion slices lightly caramelized by the toasting. Yum! Paimon's made up her mind! It's an emergency! We must order ourselves a generous serving of fisherman's toast from Good Hunter, pronto! It's on you, of course. It's so delicious! Hum, hum, hum. Good Hunter's fisherman's toast is the best! This might surprise you, but it's actually a classic Mondstadt recipe that anyone can cook. You can try cooking it yourself if you have the ingredients. Can your cooking skills surpass that of Good Hunters? Why, Paima would love to be your personal taster. Don't you let me down! <laughs> They're waving to you. Let's go and see what she wants. Welcome to the Adventurers Guild. Actually, I have had my eye on you for a long time. You've had your eye on her, eh? Has she been causing some mischief? Oh, that is not what I meant at all. Being on the lookout for great adventurers is part of my job. When I look at you, I see one with the potential to rival the great adventurers of legends. Paimon sees it too. Paimon always feels safe adventuring with her. Nevertheless, to the adventurer, experience is far more precious than potential. You must accumulate adventurer experience to increase your adventure rank. Time is of the essence. Allow me to brief you on... Wait, are you saying we're like official adventurers now? Do not worry. The Adventurers Guild does not charge a membership fee or impose any kind of duties on its members. In short, there are lots of benefits, but no drawbacks to becoming a member. <laughs> New recruits these days certainly do not beat around the bush. Basically, the Adventurers Guild rewards you every time your adventure rank increases. Here is a new member's gift for you. You will need to return here to claim rewards in the future. Without further ado, please allow me to officially welcome you, our new avid adventurer, into the guild. Here is your adventurer handbook. A new member coming aboard is a momentous occasion. A little ceremony is only fair. It has a record of available commissions and rewards. And it is also proof of your membership. Oh, and one more thing. Sometimes you will find yourself stuck at a certain adventure rank. When this happens, 
You need to perform some impressive feats to gain further recognition from the guild. Impressive feats? Sounds like hazing to me. They are simply specific adventures that allow you to ascend to the next adventure rank on completion. Ascension adventures, if you will. But that will come later. Opportunities to win recognition will come as you gain more adventure experience. That will do for today. We will have plenty of chances to meet again in the future. Ad Astra Abyssosk Adventurer. With effort... It is, in a way. But it has some practical uses, too. It has a record of available commissions and rewards, and it is also proof of your member. Oh, and one more. Sometimes you will find your... When this happens... Impressive! They are simply... But that will come later. That will do for... Ad Astra... Yeah. Why not keep me company for a while? There'll be plenty of time for work later. Come a little closer. Yep, yep. Huh? 
and see if the gods respond. Feel the blessings of the seven? In Mondstadt, people call them animoculi. They can be fitted into the statue's eye. Some stories say the statue's eyes originally had gems that were taken by swallows, but animaculi never had a physical form from the start. People with visions collect them to offer to the statues as blessings. Unlike others with powers, you don't have a vision. But then the rules of this world don't apply to you anyway, so... Keep offering animaculi and maybe you'll receive more blessings. Keep up with me! Traveler, I've been looking for you everywhere. How's that wind glider I gave you last time? <laughs> Seems like it's really growing on you. But then again, you don't have a gliding license, do you? A gliding license? Hmm, what's that? 
Oh, isn't it obvious? You gotta have a gliding license to legally glide in Mondstadt. Oh, but we've been gliding for ages now. This is the first we've heard about it. Yeah, you've been gliding all over the place. Everyone's noticed. <laughs> so you came looking for us because you want to give us a gliding license? No way! The Knights of Favonius have strict rules. You need to pass an exam, and only then will the Knights issue your license. Today, I'm here as an examiner to oversee your official gliding exam. I gave you your wing glider, so this is my responsibility. At least that's what acting Grandmaster Jean would say. An exam? <sighs> what a pain in the butt! Then again, since Amber is the examiner... I'm sure you'll glide through it. I mean, the whole city saw how well you flew the day that Storm Terror attacked, so I'm sure you'll have no problems. But we do need to respect the rules and glide properly. Here, take this gliding manual. No need to memorize it. Just be familiar with everything in there. For example, only one person per wing glider, no carrying anything over the set weight limit, no taking off using an animal slime, and so on and so forth. Anyway, be sure to read it, okay? I had to read a load of big, thick books, too, when Lisa was teaching me magic. Wow, that's a big old book! Paimon thinks we best get started. Great, come find me when you're done. I'll be at Windrise. <sighs> the Knights of Favonius Gliding Manual does not sound like a fun read. When the first wisp of wind brushed across the land, birds that yearned for the sky had wings, but no way to fly. They asked the animal god, how can we reach the heavens? To which the animal god replied, You have yet to find that which is most important. As the god spoke, the wind thrust the seeds of a dandelion high into the sky. The birds thrust out their wings, but the breeze was all too mild, leaving them to stumble across the earth. So they went to the gorge, where the wind showed off its wild and incomparable strength. They threw themselves off the cliff and flapped their wings amongst the howling winds until they were able to fly freely in the sky. To the animal god they went to gleefully say, We understand now. All we needed was a stronger wind to fly. In reply, the animal god said, what you lacked was not wind, but courage. It is courage that has allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. Hmm, that's a cool story. But is the knight's gliding manual really written in that style? Huh. Anyway, let's go find Amber.
Dodge this! Freeze! your luck. Just is like unwrapping a gift. <laughs> Quite the fine. What's the hurry? Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. Oh my. Reed, you're here. Did you have a good read through of the gliding manual? Got all the rules down? Sounds like it was a real drag. I would know. I've been there. Ah, oh, the gliding manual is super dry. I couldn't get into it at all. <gasps> Don't tell Jean, though. Really? Hmm. Paimon thought there were some pretty cool stories in the gliding manual. Cool stories? Oh, you must mean the example cases in the appendix. Some of them I like. My favorite one is about the illegal animo slime takeoff. Apparently, if you pop an animo slime and take off in the burst of wind, it shoots you up really, really high. I really want to try it. No, not that story. Paimon meant the one with the little bird who wanted to learn to fly. Uh, what? Let me take a look. Oh, shoot. This is the storybook I used to read as a kid. Oops, sorry. I put both books in the same pile and must have grabbed the wrong one when I was leaving. How in the heck do you confuse a bedtime story with an instruction manual? Uh, uh, this is so embarrassing. It's because maybe deep down inside, that fairy tale is the thing that truly taught me how to glide. What you lacked was not wind. It's courage that's allowed you to become the first flying birds of this world. Reading that gave me the courage to glide, to become an outrider, and to become the gliding champion of Mondstadt. Uh, but... Anyway, let's get back to the exam. Don't be nervous. Just glide like you're used to. Okay, then. You just need to follow the marked route to the finish. You gotta focus on your technique if you want to try again. Cool. You'll make it this time. I just know it. But it's no surprise, given the way you handle your glider in a storm. The next part of the exam is in Mondstadt. See you there. Don't keep me waiting. Alrighty then. You heard her. Back to the city. Let's not keep her waiting.
told you I'd win. <sighs> That's hey, here, over here. I'm all set up. Let's carry on with the exam. Same deal as before. Glide through the markers and get to the finish without stop. You didn't hurt yourself, did you? Once you're ready, let Keep a firm grasp on the wit. You didn't hurt yourself, did once you're ready. Keep a firm grasp on the wind glider.
You're in for a little shock. <laughs> Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> Seems all the other knights already have their hands full. You're in for a little sh- Go, go, Baron Bunny! Push your luck. Oh, so sorry. A little shock.
reward on the road. You're in for a little shock. Come a little closer. You're in for a little shock. Let it rain. Go, go, Barret Bunny! What's the hurry? Ah! Don't get frostbite. Closer. I'll keep this close. Freeze. You're in. <laughs> Let's spark things up a little. <laughs> Come 
Come a little closer. Dodge this! Oh, so sorry. <laughs> Quite the fine. Fascinating. Freeze! 